Today's video is sponsored by Verb Energy. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video has been a heavily requested one, so we're finally getting into it. Today we're going to take a look at all the heroes in Battlefront 2 who use lightsabers, and we'll be ranking them based on their dual skills in a one versus one fight. Of course, this is all my opinion, so if your personal rankings are different than mine, that's cool. Let me know how you would rank these heroes in a comment below. How it will work is like this. I've made five different ranking tiers that I will sort the heroes into. Tiers D, C, B, A, and finally tier S at the top, which is the best. We'll start at D and work our way up. And since there's only 10 Saber heroes in the game, some of these tiers may look a little bit empty because we only have so much to work with. Also, just because I put a particular hero in tier D or C doesn't mean I think that they're bad. Every hero on this list is usable and good in their own way. It just means that in a one versus one setting, they have more disadvantages than the other heroes. That's all. So with the preliminary talk out of the way, let's just jump into it and start ranking these heroes. Right away, we're gonna make a lot of Yoda mains unhappy with our first entry, but the Grandmaster is the worst lightsaber duelist in Battlefront 2, which is really weird to say. Yoda is by far the worst when compared to everyone else, and this all comes down to how slow his attacks are. Yeah, he may be hard to hit because of his small size, but when Yoda goes on the offense, he leaves himself wide open with every attack. He's just way too slow. Presence is a good ability that can get him some health back and break him out of stuns, and the block breaker is always good, but in a game where timing is just as important as everything else, Yoda really suffers from the slow attacks, and because of that, I'm putting him at the very bottom. He does have a decent knockdown with the push, and the block breaker is really good, but even the push seems to activate slower than all the other force push abilities, and the dash can be easily parried. For being the strongest Jedi in lore, he's pretty weak in Battlefront, so unfortunately, Yoda has to be in this spot. Next to Yoda in Tier D is a hero who's a little bit better than Yoda, so he gets placed slightly higher in the tier, and that's Darth Maul. On the complete opposite side of the speed spectrum, Maul is one of the fastest heroes in Battlefront. His spin attack lets him cover a lot of ground quickly, and he does great damage with regular attacks and his saber throw. Also, being anchored while using the choke is a really nice effect, but the reason Maul is in the lowest tier is because of how easy he is to counter. The spin attack can be easily parried, Maul leaves himself wide open to be hit when he throws the saber, and if the chokehold gets blocked, he can take a lot of damage in that brief moment. Maul is a glass cannon. He can dish out a lot of damage fast, but he can't really take it himself. The health recovery is among the slowest in the game, and for a saber hero, the 700 health pool is pretty small. Maul is a really fun hero, and personally one of my favorites to play, but in a one versus one he just has so much going against him that he has a really tough time. Doesn't mean you can't win with Maul, or Yoda for that matter, they're just trickier heroes to do well with, usually. I know some may disagree with this list already, some think Yoda is better than Maul, and that's understandable, but Maul's speed definitely gives him the edge over Yoda, in my opinion. He's too fast. So fast, in fact, it's almost as if he's had one too many of today's video sponsor, Verb Energy. The new 90 calorie energy bar that is perfect for giving you that extra kick and keeping your saber spam finger strong. If you're like me, you need that boost in the mornings, and personally, I'm a coffee fanatic, but Verb is perfect for coffee drinkers and non-drinkers alike. Non-dairy and vegan, if you're into that sort of thing, one bar of Verb is equal to a single espresso, and they come in a variety of delicious flavors like cookie butter and peppermint mocha. I'm a huge fan of the vanilla latte myself. If you want to help support the channel, you can use my unique link in the description to pick up your own starter kit of Verb Energy at a 52% discount. That's less than a dollar per bar, and this deal is only available through my link, so be sure to pick up some Verb Energy today. And now, back to the rankings. Now we're moving into the next tier, Tier C, and the first hero we're adding to this tier is the chosen one himself, Anakin Skywalker. It's a little weird looking at this ranking so far, because in the lore, Yoda, Maul, and Anakin are among the best duelists in the history of the galaxy. Battlefront 2 definitely did them dirty. But Anakin starts Tier C, and the reason I put him here all comes down to how poor his stamina management is. In my opinion, Annie is actually one of the better heroes in the game in general. He has the highest base attack damage, he has two knockdown abilities, plus a third that gets charged up, a block breaker, and the highest base health pool on the light side. And with star cards, the damage output can go off the charts. 
All of this sounds really great and makes you wonder why he's at tier C until you realize that Annie gets tired very quickly from both attacking and blocking, and he finds himself out of stamina at the worst times. This is made even worse if you have the Massive Strikes card equipped, which makes him hit harder, yeah, but also hits you with a 25% stamina penalty to your attacks, which is pretty significant. It's really easy to waste the abilities on a blocking target, and if you run out of stamina while they're on cooldown, Anakin's in trouble. For this reason, he's the first hero in Tier C. Next up in this tier is General Grievous, and the reason I put Grievous higher than Anakin is because he can almost do everything Anakin can do, he just does it a little bit better. Grievous is a weird hero. He has strange gravity on his jumps, he doesn't have different combo starters, and he's the only Saber hero who doesn't have force abilities. He does have two knockdowns though, just like Anakin, and his stamina is leagues better than Anakin's in my opinion. He can't block blasters for longer than a second or two, but you shouldn't be blocking blasters with Grievous anyway, and if he does get caught under fire, he can activate Unrelenting Advance to block the shots. In a duel though, Grievous is pretty great. His stamina replenishes fast, and so do his abilities. Thrust Surge is easily blocked and countered, but Claw Rush is one of the single strongest abilities in the game, and even more so in a duel, where you're only focusing on one or two targets at most. The Rush can be countered too, but it's a lot riskier than countering the Surge. His star card Flesh is Weak makes him insanely difficult to finish off, especially when combined with the Health Regen card, and other star cards like Sith Trained or Lineup Weaklings can really pile on the damage. Like Yoda though, Grievous is a little slow, and for that reason he only makes it into Tier C, but from here on out the duelists are all pretty good and can hold their own with almost every other hero. Moving into Tier B, we have the only tier with three heroes in it, and starting off this level we have Kylo Ren, one of my personal favorite heroes in Battlefront 2. Kylo is a lot of fun, and can be a damage output machine if set up right. His force abilities are all about crowd control, and Frenzy is a staple in duels. One thing that makes Kylo so versatile is his ability to use the force powers in midair. Not every hero can do this, and most force powers have to be done while the hero is grounded. Think abilities like Repulse and the Mind Tricks. Kylo, though, can do both of his force powers while jumping, which adds a certain level of unpredictability to them. Frenzy is one of the best abilities in duels, period, since while he's doing it, he gains 40% damage reduction, and the final hit will break the opponent's block and deal damage. Plus, the lock-on forces the opponent to stay on their toes. In terms of weaknesses, the only ones I can really think of for Kylo is his slow health regeneration, which is a shared trait among the Darksiders, they all seem to have slower regen than the light side, and his slow ability recharge. Frenzy comes back very fast, but the pull and freeze are some of the longest cooldowns in the game, so they'll need to be managed accordingly. After Kylo though, still in tier B, is Luke Skywalker, the favorite hero of noobs and button mashers everywhere. I joke, not really, but Luke is great. The fastest attack speed in Battlefront 2, the second strongest attacks after Anakin, two knockdown abilities, and very quick movement speed. Luke is basically Darth Maul if Maul could hit harder and could knock you down more. This is why Luke is a clear two tiers above Darth Maul. Just like Maul though, he's a glass cannon. Despite the strong and fast attacks, his health regeneration is a lot weaker than other lightsiders. The regen starts and happens very quickly, that's not the issue. The problem is he can only recover 200 health, which is some of the lowest recovery in the entire game, on par with Boba and Chewie, who are both at 150. If Luke takes constant chip damage, he'll be limping for the entire fight, so avoiding damage is key. Fortunately, Luke is a solid duelist. His stamina recovers very quickly, and if he has the Jedi Fighter card equipped, it can be even better. Intensify increases his damage with every hit, and the Rush ability can be buffed with cards too. Not to mention, the Epicenter Star card can sneak in damage past opponent's blocks. All in all, Luke is a great pick, and he is one of the better counters to the strongest duelist in Battlefront 2, which we'll talk about when we get there. Rounding off tier B though is Rey, and she just barely got ahead of Luke by a little bit. This one may surprise a lot of people, but Rey is one of the best duelists in the game if she's played well. The Insight ability literally doubles her stamina, she has a very reliable knockdown that's easy to follow up with, and the Mind Trick is debilitating to anyone it hits. Her health recovery isn't as good as Luke's in terms of speed, in fact her health recovery is downright awful and is her biggest weakness, but her stamina recovery is arguably the best in the game. As soon as she uses even a little bit it starts coming back immediately, and very quickly too. 
Plus, doubling it with Insight allows her to basically always have stamina whenever she needs it. When dueling, she has a vicious combo that can do almost 600 total damage in one sequence, even more if she's buffed with star cards, not to mention she has a star card that gives her a third dodge, which instantly puts her above most other duelists in this game. Players are definitely sleeping on Rey, understandably because of the newer movies, but in Battlefront 2 she is a monster. If you don't play Rey too much, I recommend trying her out. Moving into the second best tier now, we are at tier A, and from this point onward, these heroes are at the top of the dueling game. The first hero at this level is Count Dooku. You knew he was going to be up pretty high. He has an ability that is literally called Duelist. By default, Dooku has that extra dodge, which puts him leagues above the other heroes in terms of movement, and he has a crippling ability in Expose Weakness, which will debuff the target and slow them down. Lightning Stun is a great knockdown that sets them up perfectly for follow-up strikes, and with cards like Initiative and Finesse, he can really make the most of it. The Duelist ability will make Dooku go berserk and gives him the fastest attacks for a few seconds, even faster than Luke's, but one of Dooku's greatest strengths is his health recovery. When it comes to duels, high health recovery is probably the best stat your hero can have, and Dooku is among the highest, alongside General Grievous and Obi-Wan. Dooku's default recovery is 250, which is better than average, but with the star card that increases it, he can recover for a total of 370 health. That's almost exactly half of his health bar. Of course, he's not without his weaknesses, and as an elder gentleman, he needs to take a little extra time to get his health and stamina back once it's depleted, but if you can manage both health and stamina well, Dooku is at the highest level of dueling in Battlefront 2. Slightly higher than Dooku though, and the best hero in Tier A, is Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. And Kenobi is here almost for all the reasons Dooku is, minus the third dodge. Obi-Wan is the most defensive hero, and in a dueling system where parries and counterattacks reign supreme, Obi-Wan is easily one of the best duelists in the entire game. His blocking stamina is off the charts, and with star cards he can send it even further off, making him almost an impenetrable wall of defense. When it comes to his abilities, he's got some really good ones. The Mind Trick will shut down enemy abilities, and it combos really well with the Defensive Rush, which will make him immune to basic Saber attacks while he's doing it. The All Out Push is a little bit slow by default, but with Star Cards, it's a very powerful weapon and a good knockdown. But just like with Dooku, Obi-Wan's greatest strength is his health recovery, which is the absolute best in the game. By default, he recovers 300, which is ridiculous already, but with the Jedi Resilience card, that goes all the way up to 400, which is over half of his health bar. A patient and skilled Obi-Wan is one of the most frustrating things to fight for this very reason. And not only is the defense hard to get past, he will punish you with parries for even trying to get past it. Of course, he isn't invincible, and the low offensive stamina is something to take advantage of when fighting him. If Obi-Wan gets baited into attacking, he can find himself in trouble pretty quickly. But in terms of dueling ability in this game, in my opinion, Obi-Wan beats all the rest, except for one. Tier S is the supreme tier, and is home to only one hero. I'm sure you figured out who it is through the process of elimination, but I'm sure nobody is surprised. Darth Vader is, without a doubt, the best hero in general in Battlefront 2, which also makes him the best duelist by default. Vader is just a nightmare, man. The highest health pool in the game, can increase it even more with abilities and star cards, can double his stamina just like Rey, can choke his opponents and set them up perfectly for a follow-up. By the way, he's anchored while he chokes. The lightsaber throw can sneak past blocks, he hits like a truck, he can outspam every other hero in the game, and the defensive stamina is almost as good as Obi-Wan's. Vader is the actual king of Battlefront 2. He's insane. He only really has one weakness to speak of, and that is his incredibly bad stamina regeneration time. Once he's out, he's out for a good three seconds or so before it starts to come back, and that's plenty of time for the enemy to get damage into his health bar. A skilled Vader can easily counter this though by saving their choke for when they're out of stamina. Other than that though, there are not many bad things to say about Vader as a duelist. He can comfortably take on two or three Jedi at once, so a one versus one against Vader is just a sick joke. In duels, I like to call him cheating, and I'm being cheeky for laughs for the most part when I say that, but it's impossible to deny that Vader is the best lightsaber hero in the game, and as a result, he owns this duelist ranking list. 
But with that, I will pass it off to you guys. What do you think of my list? Do you agree with it or disagree with it? And if you disagree, let me know what your list would look like down in the comments below. I'm very curious how you guys would rank these heroes. I think Ray's position would be a little different in most other people's list, but you never know. But with that, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for stopping by and checking out the ranking list. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Either way, if you're new, consider subscribing and getting notified for more Battlefront 2 and Star Wars gaming content. And don't forget to check out Verb Energy using my unique link in the description below. That's gonna do it from me. I'll see you all out on the battlefront. Peace.